Hi, Dave Jecker, Superintendent of Falker County Schools with another edition of Checking In. Uh, two interesting questions recently, both related to each other. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, School Board Chair Brian Gorg and I presented at the State School Board Conference in Williamsburg, and the subject was what had to do with multiple choice testing and assessment, and how multiple choice testing, especially related to uh, state standardized tests, and have really negatively impacted public education. The second question, which I received at the uh, Equity Summit for Fauquier County Public Schools, had to do with time, and I got a really relevant question related to, if we're going to authentically assess students, where's the time going to come, come from? How are we going to do this? So let me answer the first question first. An authentic assessment is any assessment of student learning that requires the student to demonstrate what it is that they've been taught. And I'll give you just a quick and dirty on this. CTE, music, art, they figured this out a long time ago. And CTE, for example, you know, kids who have to demonstrate that they know how to um, wire a home or construct something or fix a carburetor or move a patient in and out of a bed correctly, those are authentic measures of learning. So they got it right. Music got it right. Kids are they're taught to play an instrument, they play an instrument, and their, their success is measured based on their ability to play the instrument. Same with art. Um, so there's already plenty of examples whereby we got it right with how we assess learning. But the fact of the matter is there is so much um, measurement related to teachers who are under immense pressure to cover a ton of information 1865 standards in Virginia, for example, in a short period of time so that kids can take a multiple choice test in May and then forget what they learned and, and during the summer and then start over in August. Okay, I'm exaggerating a bit, but I think you get my point. That is not an authentic measure of learning. Many would argue that it's a very poor way to measure learning because in, in many instances, in a multiple choice test, a student can guess at the answer and, and get it right, and then we assume they know it. And they may have just guessed at it. <laughs> They've got four choices, right? So 25% chance of getting the question uh, right. So my answer in Williamsburg was really that. You know, we, we need to bottle what's happened in other subjects and, and meld it into our curriculum so that we are authentically a measuring learning. An essay, for example, on a topic is an authentic measurement, a research paper, a graphic presentation of, of a science project, for example. Um, those are examples of authentic assessment. I'll give you a very, very practical example of an authentic assessment. If I was doing a, a, a short lecture on, um, you know, the three branches of government, and I stopped and I said, all right, I want you to partner with one of your, you know, get, talk to one of your classmates, you know, and, and tell me after five minutes or so what the essential, um, responsibilities of each of the three branches of government go and then after five minutes I say all right Johnny and Susie tell me what the what the responsibilities of those three branches are and they put it that is an authentic measure of learning it's much more authentic than me teaching it and sliding them a multiple choice test and saying all right go ahead and, and mark down what you answer you think is correct uh, because the reason we have multiple choice testing is to begin with is because it's fast it's easy it's very objective and um, you know, really started with uh, 1926 was the first SA, SAT test that we're, we're familiar with, whereby we're multiple choice answer questions were asked. Prior to that, there were essay college admissions tests were essay tests. Um, we're in a very different place now. Now the time question that I received in at Liberty High School, it's a much more complicated answer. There is no easy answer. And I, I'm going to predict that as, as the state, which is doing the right thing by moving into more authentic assessment of students, as we move into this area where we are replacing, gradually replacing SOL tests with you know, authentic measures of learning, um, the next conversation is going to be about the number of, of, of uh, standards that students have to learn. It's 1865. It's an immense amount of stuff to be required to teach. And the fact of the matter is, 
kids, you know, they all have these things. They have little computers at their hands. And, you know, teaching factual pieces of information, uh, like on you'd find on Jeopardy or something, it's at the, a student's fingertips. We, we need to be teaching kids how to think, how to work with others, how to collaborate, how to problem solve. And, and, we, and we're gradually getting there, but, um, you know, it's going to take some time. And, I, and I'll, as I said, I'll predict the next discussion, argument, debate is going to be about the number of standards and uh, the, num the, the amount of stuff we're, we, you know, we're required to teach kids. Uh, my personal opinion is it's just too much. So hope this has been helpful to you. Have a great rest of the evening.